Pollution in the Arctic Ocean is primarily the result of economic activities carried out on land, such as industrial development in the Arctic region, northern rivers, and the effects of military activities, particularly nuclear activity, as well as the influx of pollutants from other regions of the world. However, the Arctic Ocean remains relatively clean compared to other marine regions of the world. Economic activity in the Arctic seas is not the only source of pollution. The growing presence of military weapon systems in the region raises concerns of increased pollution. Management of specific risks of marine pollution in the Arctic is governed primarily by national legislation in coastal states, although these take existing international standards into account. Bilateral agreements exist between Arctic states on cooperation in the prevention of marine pollution in the Arctic seas and immediate responses in case of oil spills. Nevertheless, there is no legal framework relating to weapons and other military presence. The first steps in this direction have already been made. After signing the 2010 Treaty on Maritime Delimitation of the Continental Shelf in the Barents Sea and the Arctic Ocean, Russia and Norway began bilateral consultations on the harmonization of national environmental standards used for the exploration and development of the mineral resources of the shelf. The parties came to an agreement to make a comparative analysis of national legislation and to identify differences concerning measures for preventing the pollution of the environment. A recent report published by the International Council on Clean Transportation suggested that the reduction of the polar ice caps and the projected increase in shipping activity in the region could have a severe impact on the levels of pollution experienced across the entire Arctic region but notes that a shift to cleaner sulfur-based fuel could resolve the issue. See also Global distillation